Some of the hottest tech stocks are rebounding after a week of volatility. Here now is Chris Kaufman, president at Parallax Research. So, Chris, the FANG stocks had multiple trading sessions to the downside. Is this rebound for real? Well, we have um, noticed extreme investor uh, behavior on the uh, NASDAQ on a monthly scale, which usually means you're going to be flat to down for a while in the markets. Mm. So we're expecting that uh, probably will be range bound for the next uh, at least few months, maybe That's even all the rest of the year. So what should we expect so. in the S&P 500 now? I mean, we're in this sort of 2430 area. Mm -hmm. Should we be range bound there too? I think we will. I'm seeing it in, in the biggest cap stocks that we're the most overextended. And uh, in terms of our valuation model, we, uh, Parallax, we produce a lot of uh, artificial intelligence models for our clients. We have a valuation model where we look at the top thousand stocks by market cap. We throw out the ADRs and we watch the median valuation of these stocks. And uh, uh, we're about 20% overvalued huh. in, on the med for the median stock, which is not mm -hmm. to say that there aren't plenty of things to buy. There still are bargains out there. But on a whole, uh, we expect the market to be you know, have a limited upside. Right uh, now. Our own Doug Cass has mm -hmm. an article on thestreet.com basically yeah. saying that it's time to panic and sell stocks. He points to falling bond yields, high valuations, political uncertainty. Do you agree with that? Never panic. <laughs> Never panic. <laughs> no, I don't think it's ever time to panic. There's always something to buy. Um, it's just, you know, when the market was uh, the 07, 09 period, there were so many stocks you could buy. We were like 50% undervalued. Mm. Uh, the buy lists were big. Now the buy lists are small. There's only there's, there's fewer stocks that are bargains. But some of the smaller cap stocks are bargains still. Japan, Europe, there's good buys. But when you um, say the market has limited upside, what kind of downside scenario? I mean, we're going to see a crash sometime this summer? I, I don't think so, no. I, I think really the market's going to tread water and wait mm. for um, great earnings, mm. you know? And, uh, Hopefully the tax cuts will come in at some point and we'll get a boost in the economy. And two stocks you think are undervalued are Oracle and Disney? Yeah, we just, uh, just because I was coming on the show, I did a quick scan to see what looked like a bargain right now. And uh, Oracle, um, let's see, I wrote down the valuations here. We've got, uh, we think Disney's worth about 153 and Oracle worth about $59 right now. Hmm. And those, are, those are bargains compared to at least where they were few days ago. <laughs> uh, and are there sectors of the markets that, that you like to go in when we see pullbacks? Well, I always look at the valuations of the different sectors. And right now, tech is a bit overvalued, probably more than the regular market. Consumer discretionary staples are decent values. There, there's some values in telecom. Uh, you have to be very picky. You have to, what I tell the managers we work with is go on a bargain hunt, work hard, because it's hard to find bargains right now. So. There's always something to buy. All right, Chris Kaufman, we'll be watching it all. Thanks for coming by. You're very welcome. All Thanks, right. Scott. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.